In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, these buildings. Uh, this is actually a project uh, designed by Gerard Granval. Uh, it's an older project and uh, I found it quite interesting because of these, uh, these terraces, that balconies that, that exist in this uh, uh, building. It's actually quite interesting how the geometry the curved geometry uh, got fused with the actual straight geometry, which is just like octagon in the in the base plan. So uh, I, I I found it quite uh, quite uh, interesting to 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 take a look at this project and take a look at his uh, uh, this this modeling, and uh, I think we will have a good uh, understanding of how uh, how to implement a, a couple of principles. Uh, with this building that I wanted to show you. Uh, so um, let me just tell you, this is in Paris uh, and I'm gonna probably butcher the name of the project. It's in French. It's Le Chaux de Cretel, something like this. So I apologize for my bad French. And um, okay, we're gonna start now. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, just a single module of this balcon balcony, we're gonna model it. And then based on that module, we're gonna distribute it all around the building. Uh, as you can see, it actually has uh, in the base, I think it has 16 sides. So we're gonna start with that and then we're gonna move on later. So for now, I'm just going to, to import this, uh, this image here in my top view, just to have it here as a reference because I wanted to um, to have it to have the visual once I was, once I model this and then I'm gonna just also input this one because this one will help me to get a better view of the front view so I'm gonna actually now I'm gonna just cut this middle part so I'm gonna use a rectangle and let's turn off the grid snap we don't need this and I'm gonna trim the rest of the surface. So I just have this front view, which is all I need. So, so let's, uh, let's increase it a little bit and let's start modeling. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, these splines uh, and then we're gonna introduce the other, uh, the other uh, modeling types. So now I'm just going to uh, let me lock this and change the transparency so that I see what I'm doing and let's lock it and now let's let's start modeling in these planes. Okay, so once I'm happy with uh, how the terrace turned out, I'm going to uh, actually uh, thicken it and create it create thickness so that um, we have a little bit of geometry going in. Uh, let's say it's gonna be 0.3. And once that is done, uh, we're going to, to move forward. So now I'm going to uh, actually, I'm going to move this module away and put it on the hidden layer because maybe I'll need it later on for some reason. 
and now let's big this um you can see here that the edges actually started to 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 be very soft and uh, the way that we can correct this is by uh put uh creating an edge loop around around this area here so we can do that by using this command and i can see that the edges are nice and sharp okay so uh, once that is done of course you need to actually modify further this area here but we'll we'll not do this for now so uh once i'm, I'm happy i'm gonna bake this create trina geometry and now is the time to actually create the structure for the building so as you can see i'm going to create the the overall shape of the building which is it has 60 layers inside so we're gonna go to the top view and then we're gonna choose polygon here and we're gonna say 16 and uh let's go with let's go with this size approximately then we'll see later uh if uh, the sizing is correct and we can rescale it later on let's extrude this uh first five meters this will be the the first floor and then uh every second floor will be 3.2 and let's create i think i saw that there is 13 or something like this so let's create 13 floors so as you can see the proportions are not correct to scale 2d and let's use the center so let's go from here say uh, once we have the scaling then we're gonna take this module and we're going to distribute it on the terrace of course first we're gonna uh we're going to uh, position it and then we're going to use command uh, polar array to, to use the, the to create the distribution first thing i'm going to scale it down so let's say that the terrace will go somewhere around here and let's use the scaling tool scale okay i think something like this is all right so please keep in mind that this is not like um, perfect scaled scaled version but it will be enough for the demonstration okay so let's say that this is the position of my uh, terrace and how we do this we we, we can see that here uh, in every second one there is a terrace so we're gonna we're gonna use the same principle and we're gonna say okay let's let's create for example we're going to create the terraces on this uh, on these areas here so it's going to be here it's going to be here here and here so it's going to be eight times so how do we actually do this let me just isolate this and let's get the, get 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 rid of everything else and uh, for this purpose, we're gonna use polar array, polar, center, number eight, angle to fill or first reference point will be this one. Second reference point will be 360, preview yes, and double click. And there you go. You have the terraces now. So, we're gonna just now group them and we're gonna say block I'm gonna say floor one we're gonna unhide all of the all of the rest and now I'm going to just isolate these guys and I'm gonna basically replace 
this so for example you notice that i have two geometries now here what's the easiest way to select the one that's in there so you can use select extrusion and say delete and now we have only these guys the top one will be the same but the only difference is that it will be rotated so we're gonna just use the rotation here and we're gonna say rotate 2d but first let me again select the center and I'm just gonna flip it here boom and th that's our geometry let me delete these guys and now let's copy them and that's our building of course we can uh, still modify it further if you want we can uh, change the add some some uh, more details like these columns there so for example if you want to add a column here and add a little bit more depth to it we can create the line here and we can say uh, extrude curve and for example let's say that we want to extrude this curve uh, outward so we don't want to extrude it in these directions so what we can do is basically create here uh, like a reference plane and we can use this plane to offset the curve we can say uh, let's go perpendicular and now let's say uh, zero minus 0 0.1 and there's my let me increase it 0 0.25 and let's offset this surface and let's do both sides and let's do distance of 0 0.25 as well and there you go we have we have a bit more detailing i know that it's not uh filleted like this but for this tutorial we're not gonna do it um this is just going to be a quick uh, demonstration of how you can use polar array and now let's let's do that once more let's use polar array again uh, let's find the middle point i should actually lock this but for now it's okay let's go polar array objects to to array center number of items let's say 16 uh, angle to fill first 360 enter boom and there you go and another thing we can add here is just this top we can say for example let me just copy this explode it and delete this and let's move these guys down as you can see it has slight slight curvature on the top so we're gonna say okay let's well, let's scale it a bit inward and let's move it down like so so this would be the cap and another thing we can do is we can actually use these uh, use these elements here to create uh, the horizontal division so i'm gonna say duplicate border here i'm gonna delete everything else and i'm just going to use this curve now i'm going to extrude it minus 0 0.25 well, let's say 0 0.4 and I'm gonna slightly um, I'm gonna memorize this spot here and I'm gonna scale it up a little bit like so and then I'm gonna copy this from this point to this point 
and let's go one more time there in the middle like so so now it's just a matter of copying and I will do this for all of them and this one let's let's just increase it a little bit like this and let's bring this guy up and let's also increase it like so okay so this is our building uh, this is uh, how it turned out uh, now I'm going to like render this and show you the result of course this is not like uh, it's not perfect I can see now that the terrace the shape of the terrace should be a little bit slightly different here but um, I just wanted to show you the concept and how you can do this fairly easy uh, just a quick note I actually modified the terraces because uh, I couldn't watch them like that so I actually corrected the geometry in these plans and now uh, the balconies are looking much better. So I just wanted to update you on that. This is the final rendering, hope that you liked the result and as always thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.